Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today I'm going to answer the question if I could only keep five of my Bibles, which five would it be? Now I know this is somewhat of a first world problem. There are a lot of places in the world that can only have one Bible. In America we're a very privileged people and I don't think there's anything wrong with taking advantage of having Bibles that are very useful in helping you grow in the Lord. So if I could only keep five of my Bibles, here's the five I would keep. They're in no particular order. The Life in the Spirit Study Bible, also known as the Fire Bible. And when it first came out, it was called the Full Life Study Bible. This one is in the King James. It has the notes and the thoughts of not only Donald Stamp, but many mainline Pentecostals. This one doesn't have that charismatic, or as they call charismaniac ideology. Now, some people have asked me, what's the difference between a charismatic and a Pentecostal? A Pentecostal is someone who uses the Word of God to define their experience, where charismatics are more prone to rely on experience to help them define God, and that can be a little bit dangerous. I am all about the Word of God, so this is one I would definitely want to keep if I could only keep five. Next one I would want to keep if I could only keep five is the New King James Cultural Background Study Bible. The reason I like this one is because it gives you the story of the people of Israel and their surrounding nations. It takes you back into that time and helps you understand why God was so adamant about being exclusive as Israel's God and that they didn't worship or partake in the activities of other nations because a lot of those activities were based on whatever deity it was that they worshiped. This one happens to be a genuine leather edition. It is out of print, but this thing has all kinds of amazing resources and articles that really take you back into time and really show you not only Israel, but the surrounding nations. It takes you through some of the writings that were considered inspired by other nations and how many of those were actually just a rebranding and retelling of the biblical narrative to include the flood and beyond. This thing is priceless to me. The third Bible I would want with me if I could only keep five is the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. This thing not only has the most extensive and easy to use referencing system in all the Bibles that I've ever seen, but it also has articles and charts and book introductions and different things that really make this a valuable resource as not only a referencing system, but as a genuine study tool, almost like a study Bible. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible takes a backseat to no other Bible when it comes to tools and resources. The numbering system and the referencing system in this is simple to use. It's really quite exhaustive, and you can take a single topic from the beginning to the end of the Bible and chain it all the way through. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's a must have. The fourth Bible I would want to keep if I had to narrow my Bibles down to five is the NET Full Notes. Now the NET is not a translation that I would go to as a primary reader, but it is definitely a nice translation and one that I enjoyed reading. What makes this thing stand out is that it has the full notes. It has study notes, it has textual critic notes, and it has textual notes. The study notes are kind of a breakdown of the different thoughts and the studies that the translation committee took part of in order to translate the Word of God. So it gives you a little insight into their mind and their brain. The textual critic notes let you know the differences between the different textual manuscripts and textual sources and let you know why they favor some over the other. And then lastly, the textual notes give you some insight on why the translation committee made certain translation choices. This has that beautiful illuminated style with the text in the middle and it's wrapped around by all the textual notes. Just really a beautiful layout and an excellent resource and it's a necessary Bible to have in every Christian's Bible library. Now the fifth Bible I would have if I could only have five Bibles in my entire library should be a surprise to no one, and that is the New King James McLaren thin line with the words of Christ in blue and the blue accents. I love this because it has the references on the bottom, it has the notes on the bottom, it has nice even columns, it has a very generous 10 point font that could really almost be considered 11. It's a nice paragraph format with really bold verses. It can be used for preaching, it can be used for reading, it really has everything that you need to include a concordance in the back. So when it comes from a standalone text where I could use it for preaching, I could use it for reading and I could use it in pretty much any circumstance. This really gets the job done and if I'm being honest this is the Bible I use the most. Some of these others I will use in situations but this is the Bible that I use every single day. This is the Bible that I preach from. This is the Bible that I read from. This is the Bible that I reference with and whenever this Bible won't get the job done that's when I jump on to one of the other four but this one 90 percent of the time meets my needs. So the question is, what if I could only have one Bible? 
If I could only have one Bible, then it would be this one. Not necessarily the rebind, although this is a very beautiful rebind done by ICA, but I'm talking about the layout and the text block. Those nice even columns, that nice large font, that wonderful referencing system on the bottom, the concordance and the maps. It has all the tools that you need to get the job done, to study the Word in a beautiful translation that honors the legacy of the King James, has those poetic stanzas to where you can see the poetry, where you can see the prose. This thing really just has it all. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholsworth.